a look. We'll jump right into game, get you to the kickoff. That's Killer Mike for the Seahawks, receiving the rock, and he takes it up the middle and decides to lay down at the 21-yard line. True boy, he's been in all three of the majors so far, RG. This entire season for Madden 17, EA Sports put on four major championships with a $1 million prize pool. This is a separate $50,000 uh, prize pool provided by the NFL, so lots of opportunity. We're three majors in. This is the last shot to get into that fourth major for 500 k and I can't wait to see how it goes down. And as a Madden player that's so excited, Falls, EA announces that they're going to give away a million bucks. You're like, oh my goodness. Like, I need to get involved in this, that's awesome. And then the NFL comes along and says, hey, we'll throw an extra 50 grand into the pool. And that's not including the money that these players won when winning their club series as well. So a lot of money going around in competitive Madden right now. And it looks good early for Trueboy. He gets the four yard loss on first down with some great run defense against Killer Mike, who's gonna motion his tight end across this time. That's Tevin Coleman in the backfield for Killer Mike. Looking to get some yards, passing the ball here. Pressure slips in left, but he steps up. He goes deep downfield to Randy Moss, and the aggressive catch is swatted away. And you saw the user swat banner come down on that. Usually Randy Moss will come down with those aggressive catches. True Boy with the ability to click onto his defender with the B button and then hold the X button, which is the swat button, that lets him get the highest percentage to knock that ball out of Moss's hands able to swat it away and makes it a third and 14 on Killer Mike's first drive. He's wearing the Seahawks uniforms. The 12th man today is Killer Mike trying to get two wins to get into the finals. He's got Aaron Rodgers as his quarterback. Good user across the middle from True Boy. You see a playmaker wow. and he throws it to Jones. Julio hangs on and barely gets out to the sideline, but a first down. You talk about quarterbacks looking defenders off in real life. Killer Mike just did it to True Boy in Madden Falls. Rolls out, makes it look like he's going to scramble. As soon as True Boy bites down to take the quarterback with his user defender, dot across the middle of the field. Great execution by Mike on third down. Third and long. A tremendous pocket presence and patience, uh -oh. and Coleman busts one, picks up the first down, and decides to lay down. Very smart. What a lot of players like to do is avoid those big hits. Big hits cause fumbles, so if you can avoid them, that's what you need to do. One of the ways to avoid them is you hold the left trigger, the right trigger, you tap that, tap that X button for alls, and that's how the ball carrier gives up and avoids the big hit. High skill maneuver there from Killer Mike. You're running the ball, you're trying to avoid defenders, you have to remember the button combinations and tap it. Otherwise, you can take a hit like that in the backfield. True Boy has had two tackles for losses early in this game. First play of the game for four yards, right there for three yards, and then he's given up the one rush. Looking at Killer Mike from Costa Mesa, California, trying to find a way to get those two wins he needs to get into the championship of this club series, which will then ultimately get him into the final EA Sports Major Championship. Rogers dropping back, looking across the middle, and hits the drag, and Julio lays down one more time for Killer Mike, two for three for Rogers. And you see True Boy guarding everything over the top. He gives him the drag route wide open underneath, but the defender's able to rally down, pursue on the receiver, and only a gain of three or four yards right there. And if we're looking at True Boy's defense, the guys you didn't see in his money picks are still very amazing players. He's got a landing Collins. He's got Jalen Ramsey, Jadavian Clowney. Big time hip power, but not forcing the ball loose on third and seven. True Boy disappointed that he couldn't knock that ball loose here in traffic. In traffic, but we talked about Chad Johnson when we went through the top five most expensive players balls. He's a top three receiver in this game. He has the stats to make plays in traffic, and that's a great route combination right there to get him a chance to go up and get the ball. First and goal, the pass is caught, but it is out of bounds on the interception. Almost tipped the high point throw right there. A little risky in the red zone, RG. And Madden, this red zone gets very, very condensed. And that's a strategy you're going to see a lot of in the red zone. You see in the replay here, he throws it high to the receiver, a high jump ball. Throw it over those underneath receipt defenders and let your receiver go make a play. That's a tactic we're going to see all throughout the day. High passes up the sideline and high passes up the seam. Landon Collins, we just spoke when he couldn't toe tap. Let's see if he goes to the outside, and he does, and that's Randy Moss. And we just talked about seeing high passes up the sideline, and there it was. Went to the seam earlier in the drive, goes to Moss on that sideline, a route that our very own Skimbo has made. Very popular this year. 
and great execution by Killer Mike. Way to start it off going up against the number two ranked player in the world. RG, nine plays, 79 yards, some big time third down conversions. When you're playing the number two player, what about an opening drive like that? Oh, it does wonders for your confidence, Brawls. You know that you can compete, but I don't think there was any doubts in Killer Mike's confidence. This is a guy that told me last night, Brawls, I'm going to play well tomorrow. And what that lets me know is he's prepared for any situation that he feels he's going to see. When you have the confidence to say, for sure, I'm going to play well. In order for my opponent to beat me, he's going to have to play great. So let's see if True Boy can do just that on this opening uh, offensive drive. And you so. see TJ Yeldon in the backfield for True Boy. Definitely a value selection as he takes it across the 35-yard line. We see True Boy at the Jaguars event in the first uh, event here where he qualified for this, he had Marcus Allen as his halfback and he had five elite offensive linemen. Now he switched up from that a little bit. He's got gold offensive linemen, which are good, but they're definitely not elite or legendary. And then of course, Yeldon looks like he's given him some value that Marcus Allen kind of brings, but without having to spend that cap on the legend halfback, Marcus Allen. Well, this is what's fun about salary cap for all. Sure, you're the player, but you're also the coach and the GM, and that's a constant process. So True Boy constantly tweaking things, making, uh, going with the lineup, a lead offensive line, takes it away, uh, you know, switches it out for a more balanced team. But that's one of the fun things, and that's what makes these players great, is they're constantly looking to improve their game and adapt to what the current meta is. So I like to see that from True Boy, not one dimensional, willing to adapt. And you know what I like to see from True Boy, which I find very interesting, RG, is when I sat with him yesterday, he said that on offense, I'm either going to run Y trips, bunch, or ace twins. I have three offenses. His first couple runs right there were out of pistol. <laughs> he, he left that out of his own he scouting hit you with report. The he hit you like, with the I understand these guys that want to, you know, bring some secrets and in, in different formations into their game plan. But to not even sneak it to me, you know, I got to respect that. He's here, he, now he's hearing his gun bunch on third and 13, and he'll change up all his formations depending on what the defense is doing. Yeah, and you talk, you talk about this bunch, this wide trips. Hold on, let's wait till after this play. Bumble Ruski ball uh -oh. goes down, and Yeldon saves the day. The Jaguar killer Mike there shaking his head. Let's look at this replay, Archie. What happened? Oh my gosh, a block shed off of the edge, no routes underneath, oh. waiting for routes to develop, trying to throw, gets hit, and lucky that wasn't picked up on the defense, because that would have put Killer Mike immediately in field goal range, where he could have easily made it two possessions. Killer Mike's got room! And that was Ward, Jimmy Ward, strong safety. Let's go back to this fumble, not scooping it up. Right here, forces the fumble, Jimmy Ward, campus hero, you're standing right there, grab it, but instead, T.J. Yeldon saves the day. Yeldon with that recovery? Allows him to flip field position. That would have been guaranteed points for Killer Mike. So now he's got to drive back down the field here. But he's got the lead. Uh, that Yeldon recovery could be huge because if True Boy's able to put a defensive stop right here and not let Killer Mike get any points and make it a two-possession game, that could really come back to haunt Killer Mike. So T.J. Yeldon might have made a huge play right there with that fumble recovery for True. But he has to play the defense to back it up now. First quarter ticking down for Killer Mike. He snaps it with one on the clock. He tries to roll away from the pressure, and he gets the ball out to end the first quarter. RG, if you're Killer Mike, you come out here. You need two wins to make it. You're going up against True Boys, that number two seed. You don't even blink. That first quarter, could he have played it any better? Oh, he played great. It was a masterful offensive possession. Got a stop on his first possession on defense. What more do you want right now? He's just got to keep the momentum rolling. And he's shown us time and time again he can beat these top 32 players. And True Boy's next on his list right now. He's had a couple big third down conversions early. Needs another one right here. Third and nine. Ooh, and he takes a delay mistake. of game. After the quarter to take the delay of game, you see him disappointed with himself. Now he makes it a third and 14, increasing the difficulty of his options to convert. He's got to maybe run some different routes now, and he has to find a way to pick up this pressure from True Boy, which hasn't really got in so far yet today. Rodgers, a couple adjustments here. 15 on the play clock. First play of the second quarter. Rodgers looks short across the middle, and Ocho Cinco takes a big hit from Anthony Barr, but he hangs on, and now he's going to hurry up for a fourth and eight, the biggest play of the game so big. far. He needs to watch out for pressure from here or from here, Falls. 
making his adjustments. He's got play action on the play. He cancels it. He's going to send Coleman to the other side to help try and pick up some of that pressure. Sends him back. He's trying to diagnose where it's coming from. And Aaron Rodgers has time. Goes down He's the open. sideline. And Julio oh. Jones catches it. The oh safety God. takes a bad angle on the play. We will have that. That was a unfortunate mistake for True Boy. His player on the field let him down. I cannot wait to see that replay, Falls. He had... So that would have to be a third or fourth progression. You see everything over the middle just covered, and then he has time in the pocket, finds Julio going down that sideline and makes a huge play and is up two possessions, 14-0, against what could be the number one player in the world, True Boy. I want to see it again. Let's see it again. This is Jackson 3. That makes an errant mistake. He misses the angle. He outruns Jadavian Clowney. And that is what happens. If that's Paul Krause, maybe you get higher pursuit rating, better zone coverage, and he might cover yeah. that. But with a guy like Jackson out there, you never know. Well, there was a tight end r running up the seam as well on that play. So you have that deep half safety trying to respect two wide receivers. And sometimes he can make the play, but sometimes he's just going to come just short. And that's what happened right there, Falls. And that's one of the risks of running that cover, too. And if you're just joining us right now, our first game of this Madden Club Series Championship, True Boy is down right now. He's the number one seed. He's taking on Killer Mike. The eight seed in this thing, representing Seattle, is Killer Mike, and he is representing them well with a 14-0 lead against True Boy. He stopped him on his first possession, and True Boy is trying to battle back here and get some points on the board. Hands off to Yeldon, tackled for a minimal game, just five carries for 12 yards. And you're hearing True Boy, he's like, oh man, he's kind of getting beside himself. And one of our keys to this game falls in the scouting report is he needs to stay relaxed when he gets into this uh, mode where he you know, starts getting frustrated or whatnot. He just never seems to be the same player. And for a young buck, it's hard for even the older players to keep their poise and not get frustrated. At 20 years old, I could imagine how difficult that is for him. Wanted to go down to X. Didn't have the time. Romo has to get rid of it. Now he faces third and ten. He's in the gun. Ace twins offset. One formation he's been looking to use this championship. Help pick up some pressure. He used this in the Jaguars Club Series event where he took out seven other competitors, including Stevie J. Some very, very good players, but he's got to find a way to pick up more than just a couple. Big hit across the middle. Now he faces another fourth down. Another fourth down just got clapped by Killer Mike's user, Anthony Barr. And Killer Mike is looking very impressive right now. Killer Mike, no surprise to some in the community as this fourth down. Let's see, True Boy throws it and he oh. can't catch it. That's Jericho Cotri unable to hang on. Not where you want to go what on fourth down. He's, he's befuddled right now, RJ. Have you seen, ever seen a guy who's played this well consistently struggle this much? I mean, it, it happens sometimes, especially when you're in a situation like True Boy where you're locked into the Madden Championship Finals and you're going up against a guy in Killer Mike who's playing for his tournament life when it comes to making that, fi that Madden Championship Finals. He understands that he needs to make the finals here today in order to make that event. So he may be playing with a little extra chip on his shoulder. But don't count True Boy out at all. This kid's a competitor. He wants to win. This is an important event for him. He wants to represent for the Jacksonville ja Jaguars. He's just got himself in a situation right now, Frawls. Tough situation. Mike is approaching field goal range. He's working the clock with the two-minute warning Good approaching. Points. And he throws that oh, one out. That was that, bad. That's his first. That was bad. What happened there? Frawls, that is bad because he was in field goal range already. And now he just took himself out of field goal range, what makes it harder to make this a three-possession ball game. He's going to have to pick up a decent chunk right here. True Boy must stand up for himself right here. It's big for Keep True. Out of field goal range. Easy, easy, easy. Huge third and ten coming up. Tight end motions across. Coleman in the backfield. Pressure left comes in. Rodgers rolls away. Can he make the throw? Ocho Cinco gets the ball swatted out. And again, you saw that user swat by True Boy. Thank goodness he clicked on. As you watch it right here, you see True Boy is going to switch on to this defender, hold that X swat button right there, and that's what allows him to knock that ball out. Had he not done that, Frawls, there's a good chance that that 98 overall Ocho Cinco comes down with that. A Jaguar helping a Jaguar. This is big. 
True boy, Jalen Ramsey, that, that, preventing the touchdown. And that flat pass coming back to hurt Killer Mike right now because he could have kicked the field goal had that not happened and made this three possessions. Now he's in a situation, but he's got... He's throwing it deep. Julio Jones. Did he catch that? Taps, hands on. Touchdown, Killer Mike. Killer Mike is a killer on the sticks right now, Falls. This kid is making plays, dude. Fourth and ten. Really the toe tap. The possession catch, RG. He held down the A button. Wow, look at that. Sprinkle it across. <laughs> that is how you do it, RG. What catch type is that? That's the possession catch, like you said, with that A button. That's how you're going to tap your toes and make a play like that. If had he not pressed the A button, there's no way he stays in bounce on that catch. Good decision by Killer Mike. Good read. And Julio looking like he looked in the Super Bowl tapping those toes. That was tough. You said a good decision by Killer Mike. Also a good decision was him qualifying for the Seattle Club Series online, attending the event because he was relatively off oh the grid God. for this championship series. He did not have a lot of points. This got him an opportunity. He's at number 70 right now. He's making the most of it. He's pitching a shutout against True Boy. And if, like you said, if he wins two games, RG, we're going to see him at the championship in May. Yeah, he is playing a perfect game right now. He's scoring almost any time he has the ball. He's getting stops every time. And that's what you need to do against a player of the caliber of True Boy. He is always in the game because he's so skilled. So you need to get your foot on his neck, and you need to keep it there. And that's exactly what Killer Mike's done on this whole first half thus far. He's and he's got, got him in another fourth. another huge opportunity here on fourth and one. We're not even at halftime yet. A minute and a half to go. True Boy. If you're just tuning in, trails 21-0. Runs it with Good Yeldon run. and picks it up. And that is patience from True Boy. And he hit the hole. And that's something that's interesting in this game, Frost. With True Boy being down 21 points, it's hard for him to commit to that run game. But that's one of the strongest parts of his game. He's known as having some of the best stick work when it comes to controlling that ball carrier. And if he doesn't have time to get the ball in his hands, that's going to hurt his game plan. Throws underneath to Yeldon. Gets out of bounds before... The fumble happens, and True Boy is dodging everything right now. He's had a player take a bad angle on a deep pass. Killer Mike's also done very, very well. But True Boy fighting everything right now to get one drive before the half, and then it looks like he will get the ball after he, the half. He does get the ball at halftime. Like I said, if you kill a Mike, this is a kid that can make a run at any time. He's just that talented. True Boy could get a ton of momentum right here if he was able to put together a scoring drive, not let Killer Mike get any more points before the end of this half, and come out strong with a strong drive to start the second half. Then the pressure's on You Mike. know how Madden works, right? It's You're still winning 21-14, and you have the ball, but all of a sudden and your killer Mike, then you start to sweat. He's the got palms start sweating. It's crazy. So we'll see how that works out, but he's still got a little bit of ways to go. 32 yards, Tony Romo trying to find a way, and he's got to throw the ball away one more time. How do you throw the ball away for those guys at home that should do it more, but they don't? Very simple falls. You just click in that right stick. Click in the right stick. The QB is going to get the ball out, out, out of bounds, and you live the fight another day. That's one of the biggest tips that I give to beginner Madden players is don't force passes into coverage. Be willing to throw the ball away and live the fight another down. There's so many Madden players out there in the world, Pauls, that they just don't quite get that. Don't tug on Superman's cape. Don't throw into double coverage. <laughs> He's open. got the wide corner open. out, and Jericho Cotri hangs on this time for a wide open touchdown. He went there on fourth down, didn't get it, but right there gets his first score of the day to go down just 21-7, pending this extra point. He's got 45 seconds he's left going for in two. the half, and he is going to go for two. Romo under center in this one. Hands off. Yeldon goes wow, all the way to work. the edge, gets the seal, and gets the two-point conversion. You like that call? Oh, my. I like the stick work right there. There's the free touchdown on that two-point conversion, though. The way that the hole opened up in the middle, but Killer Mike had run commit. The defenders were filling those gaps. True Boy with the ability to get to the outside. Here you go. You see him? He knows that he, there was a defender scraping over into that gap instead of hitting up the hole. Cuts it to the outside, gets to the numbers, and that was all him that made that play right there, Farles. Little bit of stick work. I'm sure he's practiced that. He's labbed it. Some of these guys like to show up with those two-point conversion plays in their back pocket. We've seen it work for guys before. 
and Killer Mike lays down there smartly because Anthony Barr was roaming the middle. You don't want to run to him, run into him in the middle of the field. That shows how conservative these guys are about not trying to turn the ball over. He's willing to take a loss of one rather than get a big hit laid on his receiver that could result in a fumble. True boy trying to claw back in the youngster. From Woodland Hills, California, flew all the way out to Jacksonville to represent them in the Club Series, won their championship, and now he's here at the first ever Club Series championship, trying to get two wins to get into the finals, be on Madden, uh, NFL Network tonight, and yeah. potentially secure that number one spot. He he. This is this is. He wants that number one spot. He wants it. These players all understand, Frawls, that this is history in the making. This is the first ever Club Series championship with NFL teams involved. If you don't think these guys want to be the first ever winner of that event, you're crazy. This is a big deal to every one of these players. And True Boy has brought himself back to life with that uh, scoring drive that he just had. He just needs to make sure he locks up right here. Mike waiting to throw it to the sideline. True boy, maybe a little bit of a missed user there, but Mike had also playmaker earlier in the day and sent the receiver upfield, so he kind of had to protect that. That's a that's a great read from Mike because it was looking like True boy could have flipped it, got good. the ball back. One thing, it's a good point, Frawls. One thing that I'm noticing here is True boy going for two was very smart in a sense because if if he holds Killer Mike to a field goal here, it's still only a two possession ball game, which is a big deal for True. Yeah. Knowing that he can only play to defend the touchdown, obviously you don't want to just give up the field goal, but it, it, it allows you to be more free on defense when you can give up the field goal, if you understand what I'm saying. Absolutely, absolutely. It'll be 24-8 to eight potentially, and then you've got 16 with the two. So True Boy protecting himself early, a little insurance uh, could be risky, but when you're the number two player, it's worth you know, you've practiced this stuff and you've calculated it many times over. Killer Mike needs to be careful. He's airing it out right here. Looks like he he's trying to go deep, RG. He spent big time cap. Spent big time cap on those receivers. They haven't made, you know, Julio made that one great play, but as far as those two throws downfield, he got those swatted away. Good defense, you know, uh, from True Boy. Yeah. Right there with Killer Mike, too. He was very smart in the sense of you saw that corner coming right off of that edge. The quarterback was going to get hit, but he's so comfortable throwing the ball away. He's already thrown the ball away twice on this drive. And that is huge for True Boy. He uh -oh. struggled to get stops on third down early in this game against Killer Mike, but there comes up with a huge one. He stops the clock with his final timeout with 15 seconds left, so we're going to get a punt from Killer Mike. And True Boy has some of the best stick rings. This is like punching yeah, Devin Hester. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He took the words right out of my mouth, Falls. And he did punt uh -oh. to him. This could get crazy. Jalen Ramsey. No. Oh, man, he was a tackle away. And now <laughs> we're going to see seven seconds. No timeout, so he's got to maybe throw a deep route to the corner or just chuck it up and pray. We'll see what he decides oh. to go with. He's got a couple receiving options to go downfield to if he feels the need. We saw that he had the Ocho Cinco, Chad Johnson, ultimate legend, 98 overall. True Boy looking, searching, hits the corner, but Fitzgerald can't get out of bounds. He wanted to, you heard him, but it goes into the half, 21 to eight. So Killer Mike looking good early in this one. True Boy, eight points. Are you surprised at all that the kid from Woodland Hills didn't come out playing his best game. Yeah, Tr True Boy is a guy that I fully expected to come out and ball out. He didn't have the greatest showing in our last event, but that was because it was draft champions. This is salary cap where he is in complete control of his lineup, so you expect the number two player in the world to be bringing his A game. But right now, Killer Mike just looking dominant, making a name for himself. All right, I want to hear more about this game from the stage. Let's head on over to Dave Grunfeld. Thanks a lot, guys. You know, I was lucky enough to actually be at the Seattle Challenger event where Killer Mike took down some big names, just like he's doing right now with True Boy. This guy's not afraid of anybody. He's going to come out swinging. He's going to come try and take these top dogs down a peg. And I'm excited to see what happens in the second half. We are going to be uh, checking a look at our brackets here to see what's coming up later on today. But first, a quick little shout out for Twitter. If you want to up your Madden game and are looking for new tips and tricks, follow Madden Ultimate Team on Twitter at EA Sports underscore Mutt. Get the latest on new packs, giveaways, rewards, and a whole lot more. And taking a look at our bracket, 
for the rest of our day here. We've got a lot of games coming up here. Misery and Bread, the champion of the Steelers Club Series event, the champion of the Buffalo Club Series event. Ivy Strafen, one of the best players in the country as well. LT, FMB Monster, shut it down. Really just a, a murderer's row of players here today. Looking forward to it. But for right now, I am standing with the man himself, Killer Mike. Uh, Mike, that first half went about as well as you could have imagined, I, I, I would think. How did that happen? It was all about preparation. I was ready for uh, what, his blitz, and uh, everything worked out. I got some luck, too. Uh, Chad Johnson got open on two guys a couple times, so everything's looking good. How cool is it that you're here representing the Seattle Seahawks, a real NFL franchise? Uh, it's, it's amazing. Like, it's, it's unbelievable. Um, it, I just, I don't know, I'm out of words. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, man. Well, you're speechless and you're, you're handling business here on the sticks. Best of luck in the second half. Uh, RG, Z Farls, back to you guys for the second half. Mm. Thank you very much, Dave. Killer Mike rocking the Seahawks jersey. All these guys got their own custom yeah. yep. NFL jerseys. They had a little prize pack with a backpack. They had some Bose headphones in there. I yep. mean, this thing is top-notch, this first-ever Club Series championship. But Killer Mike, he's got a tough task ahead of him in the second half because True Boy started to get a little bit of momentum there. True Boy gets the ball. How can Mike you know, keep his game going? Well, Mike needs to just keep doing what he's doing and execute and, you know, keep calm. This is a guy, too, that I expect to keep calm, Falls. I mean, he's been in pressure situations. This guy's a command post controller in the Air Force. So he deals with high pressure situations all day long. But True Boy is definitely going to be bringing the heat at him in the second half. This, Like we talked about, this guy is a competitor. He's the number two ranked player in the world for a reason. And he has a ton of momentum right now at the start of the second half. He just needs to make sure that he can put this drive together, Falls. Looking to make some plays. Steps up in the pocket, throws, and the pass is tipped and intercepted. Mel Blunt grabs it. He forced that one into coverage, RG. Oh, my goodness. And Killer Mike, his buddies in the Air Force, got to be going crazy right now. He says they all watch back at the base when he competes, and he is competing oh. at an extremely high level today, Falls. Killer Mike is officially a killer right now. Good defense on that route. That is a route we have seen dominate the championship series all year long. That's Larry Fitzgerald. Could not get the separation he needs. And while Killer Mike is a surprise to some of the newer fans in the Madden community, RG, he's actually been around the community a long time. Killer Mike, a.k.a. Dougzilla. If you have been playing Madden since back in 2007, you recognize that name, Dougzilla. He was one of those guys. He never used to show up to a lot of tournaments, but when you matched up with him in an online game, you knew you were in for a hell game. So he's someone that's been able to play Madden at a high level for a very long time. Goes up the middle there. That's Pryor. And look, he's mixing up some defense for True Boy. Cover six there. A little bit of blend, calling some different stuff, but he just hasn't had the third down answer. He's going to face another one here, but Killer Mike, like you said, he's already in field goal range. Could still be a two-possession game, though. Yeah, the keys to the game, well, Killer Mike needs to keep the momentum rolling, and he's been doing that thus far. However, True Boy did get him in a situation where if he holds him to three, like we talked about in the first half, it's still two possessions. So this is a big down right here for True. He does not want to give up this first down. Oh, and he, and he runs the ball, RG. That is a bold call from Killer Mike. Maybe he was already... Knew he was in range, just made a confident play, a good read, and goes right up the middle. It's frustrating, too, on those third and five, third and six. You usually think your opponent's going to pass the ball, and then they just keep it on the ground for the first down. Reminiscent of Curtis Martin and the Jets back in the day. Every third and five, it seemed like they'd run a draw to that guy, and he'd pick up the first down. It's very frustrating when you give those up on the defense end. Fullback dive for Pryor up the middle. And, and first downs are so big for us because even though we only have a 30-second play clock in salary cap as opposed to the normal 40-second play clock you see in normal football, the thing is every first down you get, assuming that you take th th take three downs on the you know your next set of downs, you get to kill a minute and 30 off of the clock. Right. And right now the clock is not True Boy's friend, so every first down that M Mike picks up right here is a potential of a minute 30 just going off of the clock that True Boy can do nothing about besides call timeouts. He needs it, and he says that he wants to go through the toughest. You mentioned the guys he beat earlier. Look at that ladder record, 75% wins. It's more of just the volume that he hasn't played. When he plays, he plays well. He has the confidence. He knew he was going to play well tomorrow. He said, my opponent's going to have to play great 
to beat me. He wants True Boy. He wants Strafe. And he wants Misery. He wants the top guys. He's beating yeah, Kerry Q. Exactly. He's beating Kip. He wants to show, even though he's outside right now, that he can beat the best, and he's done that so far. And Strafen, who is in this tournament as well, one of the favorites to win this tournament, spoke to me and said, hey, True Boy's my guy, but a sleeper in this tournament that can make a huge run if I don't make a run is Killer Mike. So he has the confidence of his peers that, you know, he's a legit player and he's a threat, and we're seeing that right here. Gonna look to take three here. Let's see if he lets it run all the way down as oh, he can he make is. it from multiple ranges. Big field goal coming up for his kicker. Quick meter, but he looks to secure it, and he does punch it through 24 to 8. If you're just tuning in, Killer Mike, the number 8 seed, all up on True Boy, the number 1 seed in this Madden champion, uh, this Madden Club Series, the number 2 seed in the entire championship series. He's taking it to him, but True Boy will have the ball, have a drive. He was unable to get anything going on his first drive through an interception. And he just has to get the, something. This is where the scouting report becomes key because True Boy does need to stay relaxed right here. You haven't been playing a great game. You've actually been playing probably one oh of your worst God. games in a while. But you're still in it. There's only two possessions. You can get a ton of momentum with a score and a two-point, but you need to stay focused and get it done. You hear him just so frustrated. My God, oh, deep breath after everything, and that's not going to help. He you need to stay like positive. You need. It's so hard. It's easier said than done, Frog. Yep. It's so easy to madden rage. But when you're competing at this level, you need to be able to contain it. He sounds like me after eight minutes on the treadmill or, thir or 33 <laughs> minutes after I did called for pizza delivery and it hasn't shown up. It's like he sees the hole and he's just not able to get through it. And for him, the run game has always kind of powered his offense. On third and ten, he's going to have to pass. Romo rolls away oh, and the ball gets batted break. down across oh, the middle. Yeah. That's a tough break. And that's what's going to happen. It, it, it feels like when you get caught up in the tough break, they just and you, you start paying attention to them and... They just keep piling on and piling on. 9 of 13, only 100 yards, but just not the volume on big. the ground that we're used big. to. A huge 4th and 10, pretty much for the game. Good and he read. gets a wide open throw to Devin Hester, who holds it in with the possession catch. Watch this read falls on the replay. Everyone comes down to guard that tight end hook route and then goes to the second level. That was nasty. Little thing called the A button possession catch right there, and then a throw away for True Boy as he can't pick up the pressure. Romo now, that's the career tribute Romo. If you haven't seen him, as he's a brand new item here at Ultimate Team, a good size salary on him, but he appears to be making the throws that he needs to make. Nothing missed yet for this Romo, who comes in at 66 cap. Trying to find a read across the middle, good second and 10. Good He's read. got it wide open. Jordan Reed to the sideline avoids taking the hit from Mel. And there you go, True. He ran that same play back to back. He has that deep cross route going over the middle and then puts the tight end on a curl route. And you got to make a decision right there. And then playmakers the tight end to get up to the middle of the field, get into the open area. And True Ooh. Boy's rolling right now. Yeah, I mean, this kid's young. He's a youngster, only 20 years old. But he's been playing since 2001 on the PS1. And he actually really, really loved the PS2 era Maddens because of the ability to run the ball and get very sticky with your player as he sneaks one down to Yeldon. Seven seconds left in the third quarter. Trails by two scores. But he's down in the red zone now. He's at the four yard line he's got to find a way to cash one in yeah cash one in and then go for two he need if he scores here he's absolutely going for two points again make it a one possession ball game and again for how bad true boy you know things haven't been going his way he hasn't been having a great game but to still be in this and have the opportunity to put all the pressure back on killer mike you got to be feeling good about yourself if you're true you just need to stay confident keep making plays and get yourself back into this. But a touchdown here is the number one priority. The and handoff, he's and he walks in. That's Darius Jackson. This is big. Big time budget option at the halfback position to end the third quarter. But this two-point conversion is pending, and it's the biggest factor in this game. Stop here is enormous for Killer Mike. He's in the same formation where he punched Dude. in his first one. Let's see what happens. Hands off one more time, and Yeldon gets to the he corner, in? and he sticks it over the line. Wow, 24-16, very, very.
Very close, RG. Where is the stick work at? It's in True Boy Sums. You see him get away from that contained defender, get to the outside, and just get it over the pylon. What a goon, and what a way to fight back if you're True Boy. And we got ourselves a one possession ball game, Falls. What a way to open up the Club Series championship. You hear him like pounding on the mat like a wrestler that's about to get his <laughs> momentum going. Like he's starting to get hyped up, and he is back in this. He's gone through some adversity early in this matchup, but. With the fourth quarter on the line, Mike's up just one score. And that's the face of a man who's thinking, RG, in his halftime interview, he said that he was all about preparation was the reason for his early success. If preparation's the reason for success in the first half of a Madden game, I feel like adjustments in the game are the key to a second half of the game. Some players make great adjustments. Guys like Prom, guys like Mo. Other players have great preparation. Guys like Lights Out. Some have both. Yeah. But Mike, definitely a preparation guy. Early true boy, a guy in the middle of a game who can adapt. So we'll see how that all meets here in this fourth quarter. That was a good breakdown, Frost. You know? That was solid, man. I, I mean, like this it. game is phenomenal. It's, it's very true. Too. No, you taught something to the people right there because those were two very true points and two very true styles that you see a lot of in competitive Madden. You, you need to be able to adjust and you need to be able to prepare. True boy here. Third and two. The drag is short. Here. And Moss. Oh, oh my oh. goodness. Randy Bro, Moss. Everybody. Do, man? I, I, I don't know. True boy's oh screaming God. what I got to do. He's screaming pick, but... I don't know how that defender behind Randy Moss is supposed to get in front of Randy Moss and make and make that play. I mean, I mean he's there, but look at this. This is one on one with Moss. He's in front of you. And then the dive is what hurt him the most. But I mean, Randy Moss, you go get this brand new Randy Moss in the game. Some people in the community say that the Randy Moss is too good. They say that his yeah. spectacular catch rating, which allows you to get some some throws like that. Look at that. Yeah, the missed tackle. The DB Herb, gambling yeah. in that situation had True Boy clicked on and held the A button. His defender would have went into play receiver mode, where instead of going for the pick, he would have just looked to make contact with the receiver after the catch and try to knock the ball out or make a tackle. And uh, being aggressive right there definitely cost True. And I know a guy who's smiling watching this game is a guy like Brett, who won the Bills club series championship on a play similar to that with no time left it was a one-on-one -on -one yep. db interaction and he broke a brandon cooks touchdown bread will be playing in our next matchup he's taking on misery and there's a guy who needs a couple wins to get in just like killer mike who you're watching here yeah brett brett is in a situation where the interesting thing about brett is if he wins his first game and then two people that aren't already qualified for the Madden Championship Finals make it uh, make it to the championship. Brett would make it in as well. But other than that, he needs to make it to the championship um, in order to have a chance. The good news for True Boy right now is he is already in the championship, which will start at the end of April. He's sitting at the number two seed, but he really wants that number one seed. He wants the one seed. He's, it would be very cool to be considered the number one ranked player in the world. A lot of these guys that play Madden, when we ask them, what's important to you, the money, the fame, or whatever, it's to be the best, and nothing represents the best more than being number one. What's important for him right now is this fourth and one as the play clock ticks down. He's got to convert this if he wants a shot to move on, and he gets Jordan Reed to the sideline for the possession catch, a wide open throw and, from Romo to Reed. And I like that strategy in certain situations where it's fourth and one, everybody's up, they're expecting to play the run, they're taking away everything underneath and that's when you take advantage to go get a big chunk of yardage that's exactly what true boy did right there great play call Romo with the play action fake looking deep across the middle but the he's route locked. is covered and he's got to get rid of it under pressure throw away there for Romo 14 <laughs> of 25 one touchdown one interception on that tip wow that was great defense right there by Kill killer Mike huh? Every there was nowhere to go for us veteran stuff right here from the guy who's been playing since 2005 and command post controller in the Air Force did two years in Anchorage <laughs> imagine being in Alaska I assume you if you got internet you could lock in on some Madden with your guys that's savage uh, Alaska is not for me and I, I, I don't think you catch me out there but hey more power to him time's really becoming a factor here for us true's gonna have to get some points get him in a hurry He's going to need a turnover or an onside kick at some point. If he, he's got to save those timeouts, he's going to need a couple more possessions well, even after this one. The thing is, if he can score here, he still has the three timeouts where he can go out there and play defense. 
try to get the ball back with it being a one possession game. 31-16 here. True boy representing so, those Jacksonville Jaguars. Something I want to bring up about Killer Mike is he's staying in this 4-6 style defense here, Falls. And the thing that's interesting about that is a lot of the players, the meta on defense in competitive Madden right now has been a lot of nickel normal and a lot of dollar. So you got to wonder how much has True Boy been playing against this 4 6 type of look? And is that new look on offense, that defense that he might not be used to, what's been giving him a lot of these troubles? And I got a question for you on that. Is True Boy runs a little bit of the 46 himself? So when you run a defense, doesn't necessarily know, you don't necessarily have faced it as much because you don't know how that other person adapts to it. So you're right. Like, how do you get reps against something like that? Yeah, yeah. You got to know and pre be prepared of what people are going to bring out to, against you and have an answer for it. Like Killer Mike said, he said, hey, I know I'm going to play well uh, today. And that's probably because he knows that he has an answer for almost everything that he's going to see. And he's confident that he's aware about everything he's going to see. True boy trying to find one more way. He's already in, but he wants that shot at the $20,000 first prize for this Club Series event. Yeah. Th you know? This, yeah, this game alone, Frawls, winning this one game, they've all already guaranteed themselves $2,500 in this tournament, but winning this one game guarantees yourself $5,000. Winning yourself two games guarantees yourself $10,000, and if you win that third game, the championship game, you guarantee yourself $20,000. Not a bad day at the office. What? It's Representing a great these day squads at the office. here. Third and four for True Boy. Trails early, trying to find a receiver. He cannot. He gets sacked. That's big. And now he has to go for it here. This is big. On this fourth down. Wow. Net. Huge play right there from Killer Mike. And now True Boy, this 15 yards with the game on the line. Can he convert? You can almost put him away right here, Killer Mike. If you're true, you got to make something happen. Fitzgerald and Chad Johnson split to the left. Tony Romo. Takes the snap on fourth and 15, and he looks across. Can't find anything. He's trying Man, to find a way nothing. to get a receiver open. Oh, he's got to it. throw it, and Jordan Whoa. Reed hangs on. Dot for True Boy. What pocket presence. What a way to fight. It didn't look like anything was open. True Boy didn't give up, and he goes back to make this a one-possession game. Let's look at him slang this rock falls. Woo! right in between the defense in the end zone. Jordan Reed make it happen. Possession catch for Reed and now True Boy trails by eight and he has three timeouts wow. with a minute 22. He is in this ball game. And this is it. If you're Killer Mike you need to get some first downs here to put this away. True Boy has all three timeouts. True Boy has been Decent at stopping the run so far in this game. He's had a couple tackles for loss, but he's also given up a couple chunks. Look so the focus. critical here. Will he go with an aggressive cover zero style defense? And will Mike look to burn him or will he just simply hand it off to Coleman? He will. True Boy shot the gap there, but he couldn't deliver a big hit. Yeah, that's frustrating for True. It looked like he was going to blow that up in the backfield, maybe even get a big hit, but instead gain a four and only has two timeouts left. Two timeouts. Two backs in the backfield. Prior at fullback, he's run a couple fullback dives. He's given Coleman the handoff every now and then. Aaron Rodgers will decide this play call along with Michael Clark controlling this game. He's the eight seed in this event, and he's trying to take Dude. down True Boy, who gets another stop, Here makes it, it a third and four. Minute and 11, he's got one time out to go. <laughs> this is still manageable for True Boy right here, Frawls. This is a big third down play. You got to wonder if this is two down territory for Killer Mike. Because no one, even if he gets stopped, he can give up a field goal. He just can't let up a touchdown. But first, this is it. Third True needs to deal. Do you got the defense, True? He's been known to hold the door, Falls. Hold the door for the game here. Rodgers. Throwing it. Whoa! Slings it and Cameron grabs it and he is going to go all the way down and then Killer Mike with a savage clock maneuver lays down in bounce. Look at this throw. Cameron on the corner route looks like a manned up coverage that went awry. He, you like that decision to pass there yes, for Mike? Yes, he took advantage knowing that True Boy was most likely in a run-heavy type of defense. He was sending everybody a lot of man coverage, single coverage out there, knowing that True Boy's looking for the run, has the guts, takes advantage of it, keeps his cool, 
Sends a route coming across the middle to distract True Boy's user, and the tight end sneaks out in the corner route and makes a huge play. And look at Killer Mike representing the Seattle Seahawks, trying to bring home the glory and be the first ever Club Series champion. He's well on his way. Huge upset as he kneels down for the victory. Killer Mike with the eight seed comes in and defeats the number one seed in the Jacksonville Jaguars representative, Eli Clayton, true boy, and Seahawks fans are smiling today. A great performance from their representative in this club series. And you see true boy, some disappointment there on his face, but this is a kid, he has a bright future. Again, he's the only competitor that we've had that's made every one of our live events. He's the number two seed in the world. He's gonna be at the Madden Championship Finals. And at 20 years old, he's already made $29,000 playing this game for the year with a chance to make 100,000. So hats off to True Boy, but today it's all about Killer Mike right now, Farles. It is all about Killer Mike, and since it's all about him and that performance he just put on, let's throw it over to Dave, who's standing by. Thanks a lot, guys. Mike, you were running that 4-6 defense all game, clearly threw True Boy off a little bit. What was your mindset coming into this game defensively? I mean, I was just going to come with it. I had a great game plan, and it just came through. Now, you are the eighth seed. You just took down the number one seed in our first game of the day. What's your mindset like going forward now as you progress in this tournament? I, I think I've improved my chances a lot, and uh, hopefully I continue to play well. Fantastic. Well, Mike, congratulations and best of luck going forward. While Mike gets ready for his next game, we are going to take a look at our brackets right here. We are just getting started here. We are just at the beginning of our tournament here. True Boy, Luke.